Harris got a hand in there. And he stopped Garlic. It'll come back. Here's Vince. Little ball over the top. Well, that was outstanding kick. You've got to find the right target in that Bulldogs defence. They, uh, they just cover for each other beautifully, whether they zone or play man to man. There's very few holes in there. And Melbourne haven't been able to find these kind of holes that often, although they've been a bit inaccurate, I guess, five goals, nine. But just uh, both the uh, the target has to find the hole and the kicker has to be able to get it to him. And, Lee, you say they've been inaccurate. They've kicked one, four from set shots. The Dogs, six goals, two. So Jack Watts hasn't scored this afternoon. You, mate. To bring it back to five goals. And he delivers the goal the Demons fans were praying for. 30-point margin. He's been better in this third term, hasn't he? He's lifted his work rate, he's presented, and he's demanded something of his teammates. Yeah, he made that mistake in the forward pocket to uh, to drop that easy mark, but that's that's football. That happens. Move on. He had a good mark then, went back. It was a beautiful kick of goal. Against Gorn, good to see him back on the ground. Jumped into by Jesse Hogan to have damaged his shoulder. Great to see him out at full stretch. Through the legs. Gorn just corralled him, worked it back inside. Here's Garlett. Little give. Kennedy got rid of one tackler, took on the second to Hunt, to the runner in Viney. The tackler was hoping it was liberatory, wasn't. He's stranded on 18, over the top to Watts. So Watts. That's just the one goal for the afternoon. Got images of a situation here, home where uh, they might have the ball, the Bulldogs, and just give it up deliberately <laughs> so that Liver can get the tackles. 15 seconds. If you've just joined us and you don't know what we're talking about, 19 most tackles ever applied in a game. Jack Zeebel, Jude Bolton share the record. Liberatore, 18 for the afternoon. Watts. You see what lies before him. Margin is 45 points. It's a game-high lead. Well, he's a beautiful kick of the football, and that is no exception. Two goals for Watts now, 11 disposals. Was quiet in the first half, certainly lifted after half-time. They go, the Demons. Petrarca to half for It's a wonderful kick over the top to Watts. Happy just to... Step back inside, little give. Hogan, he's too far out. He'll wheel onto the right boot. Well, he was going to. Just look at the Bulldogs jumpers back there. They've got it flooded. Into the pocket, again to Watts. Well, they got it to their most accurate kick, I would have thought, but that was about the only space that was available with that, uh, with that Bulldog flood back. So a couple for the afternoon, kicked... Goal from here a few weeks ago. And almost this exact spot. He's only had the 13 touches, kicked the two goals, but he's actually kicking the ball really well. The goals that he has kicked have come off nice. 14-4 from set shots for the year for Watts. Has he brought it back enough? He's finishing perfectly. Won't be enough. But it's another for Jack. He's got three. It's a great lesson, isn't it? He was having just an OK day. In fact, probably below par. Lifted his output a little in the second half and then with some really good finishing has turned just a so-so day into a pretty good one for him. Yeah, as a forward, you've got to keep your head up. I said, if you get a few opportunities, make sure you take them. But look at the... the goal kicking compared to Hogan. He looks so smooth. He, it's a nice little walk and then he goes into a little bit of a, a jog and then a nice fluent kick of the ball. Compare that to Hogan where he's got the stutters in there. You can see why the consistency with, with Jack's kicking compared to Hogan's. Play the footy. 